Well guys, welcome back to the clock. Straight on this clock. Well guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. I'm out on the streets of downtown Vancouver today and just want to have a good explore and see what images we can come across. Now, those of you who watched my previous videos, you'll remember I was on about saying that I've got a new lens, I've got the 14mm 1.8 Sony G Master and I said that I was going to be putting a video together for street photography because being in such a wide uh, focal length at 14mm some people wouldn't think it'd be possible to capture images on the street at such a wide focal length. So that's what I want to show you today. Now I have spent the last couple of weeks uh, out on the streets getting used to the lens. So some of the images that I show today will be from that previous couple of weeks that I've been out. And uh, I just want to be able to show you how you just have to go about it a different way. Normally I'm shooting at 35mm, uh, 50mm so it's a lot more focused on the subjects that I'm photographing but being able to sh uh, shoot at such a wide focal length means I can include more of the structures and more of the area where the people are so I'll be able to include a lot more of the buildings a lot more of the shapes a lot more of the light and that's what it's all about just trying to work out a different way of getting those images. Now a good way of getting those images with a wide focal length is getting up to your foreground and having your subjects walk into the shop. You know you can get up close to this post and uh, people wouldn't even think you were taking a shot of them because the focal length is that wide that I could literally focus in on this area and capture someone to the side of this post and that's another way of getting images so there's always a workaround with whatever focal length that you're using and uh, I'm really enjoying uh, using the 14 mil. So I'm gonna make my way down onto the street. I'll talk you through some of the compositions that I've been to previously, along with some video and along with the images. And we'll see if we can capture any more images today. millimeter attached to the front of the camera here so looking forward to seeing what we can capture today like I said earlier some of the images that I put up today are going to be from previous trips out getting to grips with this lens and I'll also put some video up too uh, but I've came across my first subject that I'm wanting to photograph I came across these pieces of artwork here because there's so much color there and I've also got reflections from the buildings and I think it'll work for an image it'll be a good example of how close I can get with this lens you know I can get really close with it and still include the buildings in the background and subjects walking through the shot so for this shot that I've got lined up here I'm actually going to use part of this first shape and then I've got the shape there to my left hand side I'm going to use that to frame the right hand side of the shot and it'll just be a nice colorful image uh, with some of the buildings in the background and what I want to go for I want to get someone walking through the centre of that shot. Now I'm actually getting literally a couple of feet away off this um, bleeding foreground here. So that's how close you can get with the 14mm. And because I'm getting so close, the subjects walking by don't even realise they're in the shot because my camera lens is so close to the foreground. So that's a good way of showing you how close and how you can capture subjects in the image. I'm going to shoot this at f8 because uh, I want to try and make sure that I get the subject sharp as well as uh, the leading foreground here. So I'm going to get back, get this shot 
and I hope you like it. really loving and enjoying the perspective I can get on my street photography images you'll know in the past that I always concentrated mainly on subjects and the light but now I can include so much uh, so it really has opened a lot of doors for us now the location I've came to now it was actually here last week um, I took a shot and I was really pleased with it another example of using that wider focal length to get a different type of image so you'll be able to see behind us the light's pretty much the same to what it was last week i had this like triangular shape uh, casted by the sunlight from above on the ground here but what i wanted to do is i wanted to include the skyscrapers at the same time they're huge they really are big but having that wider focal length means i can include them now now what i still had to do was i had to get a little bit higher up now you'll be able to see behind us this part is slightly more raised uh, and I could get up there. I can't get up there today, but last week I did take the image. The attraction was a light. It's always the light that attracts us. I go to the areas where you've got light and shadow, and that's where I work around and try and work around subjects walking into that light. Now, last week I waited, I waited about 20 minutes. A lady walked through the shot into the light, and I got the shot. Because this area is such, it's so much brighter, the background slightly fell, fell into darkness there, so it was a lot darker, so you had a good contrast between the lights and the darks. The sky was really bright, so the sky was nice and bright, but you could still make out the skyscrapers in the background. So all in all, it all came together as one shot. I was able to include the skyscrapers, I had the light, and I had the subject along with the shapes. So that's what I always look for. So I'm gonna get back and continue my walk around downtown here. I'll put this image on the screen above and I hope you like it. So I found another area where I think it's got potential for an image so I'm going to try it out. Now because we're getting more sunlight we have got blue sky there now so that's great. To be able to see the shapes and patterns that it's creating on the floor and not only that we're getting the highlights on the building and that's what I look for all the time. Some nice darks of the glass there and we've got some lovely shapes on the roof as well uh, so I want to try for the shot here. So basically, I'm waiting for it to quieten off. I always try and single out subjects as I if I can. Unless there's a subject that's got a, a lot of interest, then I'll photograph more than one. But sing singling out subjects, generally, a lot of the time, it makes the Im image simpler to look at. Um, so that's what I go for, but that's not always the case. So I'm gonna shoot this in portrait, and I've chosen the most interesting part of the building, uh, leading off down the pathway that you can see there in the distance and that's where I'm going to try and grab and shot quite a few people here at the minute uh, but it does quite enough uh, so that's what I'm going to go for 14 millimeter I'm probably going to shoot round about 5.6 uh, nice quick shutter speed to stop the action make sure, sure that anyone walking into the shots nice and sharp and grab the image so I'm going to get back get this shot and I hope you like it
So I tried a couple of shots back there and I actually got bride and groom walking through with the shot. Um, so I was pleased with how it looked on the back of camera. Now, the thing being was I couldn't decide whether I liked it with the photographers in or without, but I didn't have much of an option as the photographers walked in there uh, before the bride and groom. But I think it still works. It shows how to tell a story. You know, you've got the bride and groom, you've got the photographers, it's their big day. So it still says a lot about the image. Now, I've came across this location here and we've got a stairway coming down, but you'll be able to see I was attracted by the light that we've got behind. So what I want to do is I want to incorporate someone walking into that shot or standing in the light preferably and try and include uh, some of the buildings in the background because I'm using that wide focal length I'm being allowed to do that but I'm also going to go to the other side of the stairs and you'll be able to see where they lead down um, over to the right hand side there I'm actually going to stand really close uh, to that background to the railing and I'm gonna capture someone walking into the shot. So that's a good way of getting close to your foreground and capturing the subject walking into the shot at the same time. So I'm gonna get back, get this shot, and I hope you like it. So I got a shot at the stairways there. I was really pleased with how it looked uh, on the back camera. I managed to get two subjects. I got one coming down the steps where they got round the corner. So the subject didn't know I was taking the photograph. And when he stepped into that light, he really lit up. We had those, those uh, lovely contrasting shades there with the dark shadows and the light where the guy stepped into. And then I simply got a bit further back, wanting to include some of the buildings, more of the environment around the subject and managed to get the guy standing in the light with the hat on so it added a lot of interest uh, to that image I always like characters with hats or umbrellas or subjects like that um, I just think it makes for interesting images so I hope it's been a good way of showing you how you can achieve those shots getting subjects using that wide focal length now not only is the lens good for photography itself it's great inclusion to my camera bag for doing video those of you who watch my videos, you know I like to include as much B-roll as I can, really show the area and the location that I'm at. Uh, so using that wider focal length can include so much more. Now some of the locations I've been to today, I've actually been to them before, but because I'm using that wider focal length and being able to include more, I'm coming away with totally different images. So that's why I'm enjoying this lens so much. So I'm gonna carry my walk uh, around downtown here just came to a quiet little area walking along the railway tracks and then I'm going to make my way back into the streets and see if I can come across any more than it is. So I hope you're enjoying the images that I'm able to bring you today. Like I said, some of the images are from the previous week, some are from today. I just wanted to give you a good collection of what you can do with that wide focal length. Now we came to a location here where we've got some lovely light. You'll be able to see how bright the light is, but on the side of the wall there, there's this opening, it's just like a square. Now when that light's really bright, it really stands out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up close with the 14 mil and just use the wall to frame the shot. The wall's gonna be in darkness and then we're gonna have that background that looks through that, that square onto the streets behind. Now what I wanna do is I wanna single out the subject walking past that square and capture the image. So I'm gonna get back, get this shot, put it on the screen above and I hope you like it.
it is possible to get shots with the wide angle lens you've just got to use a different thought process and that's what I've found over the last couple of weeks and that's what I wanted to show you today you know I've been able to show you how to get subjects you know you wouldn't think you'd be able to get subjects in your shot because you've got to be really close but if you go a different way about it and get close to your foreground and then wait for your subject to walk into the shot you can still capture those images so I am going to call it an end to today's video, it's been a blast, it really has, it's been a pleasure having you along. Leave us a comment below, let us know your thoughts on street photography, um, and I'm just going to carry on, I'm going to carry on as the day goes on, I'm going to try and get some more images because I've enjoyed myself that much. So stay tuned to the end of the video, I will have more images to show you, but for now, from me in downtown Vancouver, thanks for watching, see you again soon, bye bye.